Right now, SLED is urging a convicted murderer to turn himself in. Droid Price was released early from prison, and yesterday the South Carolina Supreme Court voided that release. Price was released last month after a secret hearing. Our Taggart Hawk's been following all this, and he joins us in studio now to break it all down. Tag. Aaron and City Price served 19 years of a 35 year sentence. His release has garnered criticism from leaders around the state, and now local, state, and federal agencies are looking for him. Convicted killer Gerard Price is on the run after the South Carolina Supreme Court voided his early release. Yesterday, Price had the opportunity to turn himself in. He has not done that. He is now fugitive, and we're actively looking for him. Joined by the family of Price's victim, Carl Smalls Jr., the Richland County Sheriff's Office announced a $5,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Our life been turned upside down all over again. It's like a spin cycle in, in, in a washing machine. You know, you're bouncing from side to side. Every minute that Price is out in our community, he is a danger to our community, but he is causing suffering to this family behind me. It's a manhunt the state hoped to avoid by asking the Supreme Court for a bench warrant last week. There was no bond on him. He wasn't on probation. He's as free as you or me to come and go or leave the state. There was nothing. The release is raising questions about the justice system and answers Attorney General Alan Wilson says he wants to find. Let's get him back in jail and then let's look at everything that happened. My goal is to give you and the people who watch this broadcast as many answers as we possibly can. Price was released from a New Mexico prison, but in recent weeks has reportedly been back in South Carolina. To be clear, we do not know where he is right now. Aaron.